Haley and Michaels are live in studio with us, brought to you by The Barn in Platteville. Wisconsin's a very special state for you. Yes, it is. Even though neither one of you are from Wisconsin. <laughs> um, tell, tell the story. Well, I have a lot of family here. My mom grew up here, and so every year, for basically my whole life, I came up here for um, a big part of the summer. Yeah. And we have a lake house up in Wild Rose, and um, we kind of split it between all the families. And I, I kind of, when I, when I bought the ring and I was going to propose to Shannon, I, I, in my head, envisioned it happening at the lake house in Wisconsin. They've got this deck that kind of overlooks the lake. So I knew that's where I wanted it to be. Um, and I was trying to figure out how to make that work without it feeling obvious. Like, oh, hey, let's go on a random vacation to the cap. <laughs> you know, it just felt like it was going to be set up. So the, the way that I, I worked it um, was that before, before we had things going on like we do now. We've recently signed with William Morris for booking, but before that happened, I was the booking agent. <clears throat> and so that, that worked really favorably from a, a logistical standpoint. So what I did was I booked a show um, at Summerfest opening for Cole Swindell mm -hmm. on 7-6 on, on the 6th of July. And I, I knew that Shannon would suggest mm -hmm. going to the cabin the next day. Yeah. So I just booked the show. And then I said, hey, I booked a Sunday show, you know, it's so, so funny now because now that I know this, because literally, literally, I, the first thing I said wasn't like, oh, that's cool, some festival. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh my gosh, we should go to the cabin the next day. <laughs> yeah, and, and I, should, I should add that, that as an independent artist, especially before our song was on the radio, opening for Colson Wendell was a very difficult, I had to jump yeah. through a lot of hoops exactly. to, to make that happen. But I, I think I might have even told someone, like, hey man, you got to give us this gig. You know, I got a plan. You got to work with me here. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So um, we went up there. It was seven seven, uh, seven seven fourteen. So it was never going to happen again in that way. Yep. Um, and I, I thought it was just some made up holiday. And Ryan kept giving me these little gifts throughout the day, like as presents for the made up holiday. <laughs> and so then I started feeling really guilty because Did I didn't get him anything. anything. <laughs> and but I also was really thrown. I didn't think that this was going to be. The day that he would propose so you, because you it was had a no holiday. Idea that it was coming that day. Right. Did I you mean, know it was going to come overall? I mean, yes, because we had looked okay. at rings. Okay. But I. But then he made the comment the last time we looked at rings. Before that, he was like, "You know, I'm in no rush. Like, don't worry." And uh -huh. I was like, "Okay, <laughs> great." Because <laughs> yeah. just what every lady would like <laughs> exactly. to hear. Exactly. Yeah. Those words. I'm in no rush. Element of surprise. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we were up there, and throughout the day, he just kept putting more and more rose petals on the on the deck and again as I said before I can be kind of clueless so extremely just... <laughs> oblivious and I was also lighting candles like on the hour I put a couple candles oh it's getting you know really dark let's light a candle at you and, and then by, by, by the time it, that I even actually noticed anything it was like, it was 7 like a PM. billion candles and like tons of roses by 7pm like, the there's... deck was covered in roses with hundreds of candles and she like didn't really notice and, to, and then and then it was like 706 and and I kind of started talking and dragging on this conversation a little bit. I was saying some things, you know, I have my, my rap down. And at 7.07 on 7.07 was when I actually proposed. It and started it, raining. It started raining right on, on, wow. right on the spot. So, wow. That was a... Wisconsin. Yeah. And it's also cool because Ryan normally doesn't eat cheese. But when he's in Wisconsin, he eats cheese, and so it's this like amazing I'm one of, time for him. One of the very few him. vegans in country music. <laughs> <laughs> so for those two reasons, Wisconsin's a very special state. Well, then, and then you got married this past May. Yes. And we yeah. saw, I saw uh, online some photos of your wedding. Looked absolutely beautiful. Thanks. Where'd you get married at? We got married at the Mountain Winery um, in Saratoga. It's really close to where we both grew up, uh -huh. and in California. And um, we actually opened up a show there for Martina McBride, and we had no idea where we were gonna get married, but as soon as we walked onto that stage, it's yeah. this amphitheater and kind of a winery, and it was just perfect, so. So you, your brand new song that people are hearing, mm -hmm. which is really touching a lot of people, actually ties into your wedding directly. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's, Tell it's us a total that. shock. Well, we, we never really have time to just sit down and write songs just the two of us. I mean, we're, we're pretty much on the go and we're on the road or we're, we're co-writing. That's just kind of what happens in Nashville is you book dates and it we hadn't really actually just sat down to write, um, but it snowed really, really heavily in Nashville, which never happens, and a, a writing session got canceled on us. And so we thought we'd sit down to write our wedding vows, um, which mm -hmm. we hadn't had time to do. 
Yeah, and it it accidentally turned into a song. <laughs> it was a songwriting session, and just we didn't expect it. But um, and and you know, we just kind of we wrote the whole thing in just that one day, and never thought anybody else would hear it except for our moms <laughs> and us. Uh, and and it, it it came out, and we uh, one of the the incredible things that's happened. So we're we're getting on an airplane airplane was a week or two ago. And our phones start blowing up, and our friends are telling us, "Hey, Kathy Lee Gifford and Hoda are talking about you on the Today Show." Yes. And we we were like, "What's going on?" And, and we found some video of it, and they played the song. Um, Hoda was singing along. Hoda was singing to it. along. And <laughs> Do you know how they found the song at all, or not? Um, not really. No? Yeah. Okay. You know, I mean, right. I, I mean, it's just you know, it was out the out there. I mean, we haven't officially you know yeah. released it to, to radio yet but it, it it was just kind of out there and um we had some press about it because of the wedding and sure. so i yeah, think Country maybe they Weekly saw did a big feature okay. on the wedding um but so they're singing along and and just out of curiosity as our phones are exploding with our friends freaking out i look at the the country singles chart on itunes and it was a top 25 country single <laughs> while I was on TV and all I can tell everyone out there listening is that the last thing we ever expect, and we sit down sometimes and we are trying to write hit songs I mean, everyone wants to do that <laughs> we were not trying to write a radio single or a hit song we were just trying to get our wedding vows knocked out Shannon's always writing songs so she started to kind of put a melody to our wedding vows and it's it's been unbelievable this is such a pretty song and we're going to share it now you've been kind enough to let us share it with our audience yes, too of this is called giving it all to you it's Haley and michaels it's brand new music on afternoon drive live here at 97.7 country and wglr.com